<laughs> I've been running these meetings for quite a while, and you're just sort of in the background. I, I think you know what I'm talking about here. Huh? Jim, listen, I gotta call you back. Ah, these kids, all right. witness who says she was molested by a fellow church member and that the church had been protecting pedophiles within their midst. Now alleged victims from across the country are coming out with claims of their own. With the religion under siege tonight, here's Nightline co-anchor Dan Harris. I can remember feeling like, you know, the inside of me screaming out to the people of the congregation for help. This is the story of Candace Conti, a young woman stepping out of the shadows to take on the all-male leadership of a wealthy, secretive religion. On behalf of the North Fremont Congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses, who she says failed to protect her from a predatory pedophile. Just kind of screaming out for somebody to come protect me. What most of us know about the Jehovah's Witnesses is that they may have knocked on our door as part of their global proselytizing campaign, celebrated in church videos like these. Bringing solace to millions in a troubled world. But now Candace Conti is out to prove that there is a dark side, that church leaders ensconced in their New York City headquarters known as the Watchtower have fostered a policy of silence on child abusers. Do not reveal the confidential talk of another. Some of whom have gone on to- Just a big person. Found him very scary. When Candace was nine years old, she says she was abused by a well-liked member of her small congregation in Fremont, California. While door-to-door -door evangelizing, which Candace would often do without her parents, she says Jonathan Kendrick began taking her to his house and molesting her. I don't really want to go into everything else because I don't have nightmares. Right. Understood. She testified that he abused her several times a month for what she says felt like two years. When you were a kid, why did you feel like you couldn't come forward? Bringing that up just would demolish the only people that I knew. I think I was scared too. Candace had nowhere else to turn. She says because of her beliefs, she grew up isolated. Do you remember what the church taught you about the world? Everybody outside of the Jehovah's Witnesses are pretty much